my go-to diagrams. Right? Um, so each of the diagrams that I'll be presenting, um, I'm not using each of those in every single implementation of dynamics that I do, um, but those are probably the ones I use very often. Right? So I start with the use case diagram. So this one um, is very handy and it's a graphical representation of the interactions between you know, the users and a system. So a use case diagram is a great technique to very quickly identify and clarify and organize core requirements. So I typically use and create use case diagram in the following uh, scenario. Um, you know, especially at the beginning when I have those first initial meeting with the client to very quickly understand uh, the system that they would like to build. Um, and then sometimes during the first workshop, I also quickly draft a use case diagram to make sure and validate that we didn't miss any obvious requirement. Conceptual diagram. So the conceptual diagram describes at the business level, high level, what are the main functionalities of the system. Right? The coloring here helps me group functionality of the same category. The conceptual diagram is constantly evolving, right? And we tweak it along the way of the project. So conceptual diagram really helped me explain how I understood the solution to others. And I use conceptual diagram, especially in those, in, in those contexts. So at the start of every, um, or almost every workshop I do, I present the conceptual diagram to explain again, what is it that we're building. Um, it also helped me stimulate, you know, a generation of ideas. And then I sometimes also use it within my team to help me describe how I understand the system and help with my thought process and that narrative when I explain, you know, the solution to someone. Process flow diagram. So a process flow diagram is a simplified representation of a process. So there is always a start and an end where actions are being done by different actors, you know, represented, for example, in, in a swim lane. Right. I often use business process flow diagrams, you know, um, after I've created, for example, use case for those more complex um, actions of my, use case of my use case diagram, I will draft um, a, a quick uh, business process flow diagram. And sometimes as well doing workshop or meeting to capture how user, how a set of users are performing some tasks in a particular process so that I have better understanding of, of that process. Entity relationship diagram, which is a type of diagram that illustrates how Dynamics Physics 5 or Power Platform entities such as contacts, company, cases relate to each other within the solution we're building. Uh, entity relationship diagram helps uh, to understand how data is structured and how your Dynamics Physics 5 entity model will be designed. Another tip I sometimes use when I present solution ideas, so now I always use stories and real life example when I present solution ideas. What I sometimes do, quite often actually, is I have a slide deck where I actually, um, I introduce my story first to my audience before showing, before showing dynamics. So, what I do is, as you can see here, I have a nice diagram and I first walk my audience through the steps of, of that story in such a diagram, right? So in this scenario, for example, we are going through a story where a customer navigates to a website and then logs into the portal, search the knowledge articles on the portal, create a case, that case comes to, uh, you know, that case comes then to the dashboard of, of a person and then a, an agent can kind of start working. So I'm kind of introducing using that diagram, the big steps of my story. And then I effectively go um, into dynamics and then I kind of walk through that story using a real life example.